The No Fit Channel checking in with another Sunday supplement review. On today's episode, I'm going to be going over what's in the box. If this is your first time to the channel, then consider hitting that subscribe button. I am dedicated to helping you dads. On this Sunday supplement review series, I go over a supplement every Sunday to help you dads decide if it is something that's going to fit your health needs, fit into your fitness goals, and most importantly, if it is going to be worth your hard-earned money. Now, on my other series, Tightwad Tuesday, and if you're not familiar with that series, you should be. I'm going to link it right up here. I mentioned how important it is for you dads to save money by rocking all of those Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. Well, I don't just talk the talk, I walk the walk. So on Cyber Monday, I came across an amazing deal on MyProtein. Now, MyProtein is a company that's big over in Europe, and they started to be big over here in the U.S., and they are a no-frills company. They are, they are just meat and potatoes, supplements. They don't have any super sexy models sweating beautifully on their advertisements. They don't have any claims or, or really hardcore claims on their products. They just deliver basic supplements at great, and I do mean great prices. So I saw a great deal, and now obviously I've talked a lot about rocking those Cyber Monday deals, and when you see an awesome deal, you've got to take advantage of it. So I said to myself, let's reach out, take advantage of some of these supplements at these great deals, and see how they stack up, both in taste and in delivery. Now, I've never tried my protein before at all. I've never tried any of their products before, so... I spent my money, so hopefully you dads can either learn that it's a good product and something you might want to consider, or learn that I made a huge mistake and I am stuck with a lot of supplements that I'm going to have to eat um, and hopefully save you from making the same mistake. So I've got two supplements here. We got a BCAA My Protein 411 product. Now the reason I bought four of these without ever having tried it, I actually went out and got four of these bad boys because I actually thought there was an error on the website. All right, because this was the 1.1 pound bag. The 2.2 pound bags was four times the cost of this bag. Normally, of course, you would think that it would be either close to double or just double this bag. It was four times. So either that was priced wrong or this was priced wrong. I got this so cheap. You're going to have to wait for the next video to see the price point on these bad boys. But I actually figured even if it stinks, it was worth getting for them. That's how cheap it was. On today's episode, we're going to be reviewing Salted Caramel Impact Whey. Okay, I was actually going to go with the 11 pound bag, having never tasted this thing. That's how great those prices are. But I stuck with the five pound bag and I'm either going to be glad I did because it tastes horrible or be kicking myself because it tastes so good and it's a good product at a good price. So what is the cost? Okay, obviously it's no frills. We see that. What is the cost? So on the price that I got, I got this for 39.6 cents per serving. And again, this isn't just whey, which is a mixture of isolate and concentrated whey. This is only isolated whey. Now, what does that equate to in the cost per gram of protein? So that's off, oftentimes an apples and app for apples comparison. Uh, the cost or the price per gram of protein. That comes down to 1.89 cents per gram of protein. And that is not just generic protein, that is isolated whey protein. And uh, let's just see how this tastes, because if it tastes good, that is probably going to be the best price you can find across the board for an isolated whey protein. Or at least that's probably the best price that I've found So again, I've never tested this. The only thing that I can go on So I've never tested this flavor. The only thing that I can go on is in the reviews, this was actually the most loved flavor. So you don't even get a tub as I mentioned. That can be a bit of a nuisance in terms of actually storing it. Some people like the tubs. It ends up being able easier to pick up and put down. You don't have to be concerned you got the seal correctly. As you can see, this is already a bit of a mess because it's the bag. Now we got to find that scooper. Oh, Lord, help me. Damn. 
damn, this is easily the hardest scoop I ever had to find. Now, it was literally on the bottom, which sucks. However, there go some of those savings right there, huh? You know, what I usually do, though, when, with these things is if I ever am going to reorder it, I just simply keep the scoop from the previous bag uh, when I'm done with it. And that way I don't have to look for the next scoop. I already have it. So, one scoop right there. 21 grams of protein. Now, they do have pretty good label transparency. If you get the natural, uh, no flavor, my protein, it's 22 grams per serving. And they tell you that if you do get a flavor that isn't chocolate, you're going to lose 3% of your protein because they remove the protein and put in the flavoring. Well, they don't really remove the protein. They just simply add in the flavoring and that excludes 3% of the protein. So 21%. Now, I've got protein all over my studio here, but that's a pretty decent sized scoop. And that serving is 25 grams. And that's not too bad. 25 gram scoop for 21 grams of protein. Now, for reference, I am mixing it with about 14 ounces of ice cold water. And before I start mixing this thing, and before this place becomes a bigger mess, I'm going to try to seal up this bag. Quick pro tip. Um, I oftentimes buy the very large bags of protein, but what I will do is I will save one of my old buckets and simply transfer it into the buckets because it just ends up being easier to open and close and scoop out and whatnot. So something you might want to consider if you're coming down to the end of one of your buckets, wash it out, completely dry it out and save it. So if you get one of these huge bags um, or even a huge bag of the stuff that you're using, you can just transfer it and it makes it that much easier. So we're going to give it a hard, and I do mean hard shake for 30 seconds to see how it mixes. All right, that's mixed very well. Let's see how it pours and then we'll see how it tastes to see if it was worth that price or if I've just got some very expensive powder that's going to end up in the trash. All right, so it pours very well in terms of mixing, I should say. Um, no clumps whatsoever. Again, I gave it a 40 second shake. I had a whisking ball and 14 ounces of water. So I mixed it pretty hard, but no clumps whatsoever. It smells like salted caramel. Let's see how it tastes. That tastes good. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That tastes very, very good. So the reviews online were not wrong. Salted caramel is a delicious flavor. So I misspoke earlier. I just read the back of this label. One scoop is 20 grams of protein. So I calculated it off of their expected 3% protein loss from the natural flavor. But again, so this comes in at one scoop, 20 grams of protein, two grams of carbohydrates, zero grams of fat. The taste is delicious. It's all isolated protein. I'm going to put the cost per gram of protein up here and compare it to a number of other proteins. And then I'm going to compare it just to specifically to isolated protein alone. So that is going to be an apples to apples comparison. And hopefully it'll show you that there is a ton of value going with my protein if you can rock one of their super special deals. Um, so that's something that you dads might want to consider. In terms of taste, it tasted great. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That's not going to be no problem putting this down either as soon as I wake up in the morning or as soon as I finish a workout. Um, no problem whatsoever. Salted caramel. I have heard that some of their other flavors are suspect. So I can only speak to salted caramel. They've got a ton of other flavors. I'm going to list all of their flavors right up here. Hopefully you dads found this informative. If you dads have tried my protein before for any of their products, I want to know in the comments below why you went with my protein, if you were happy with it, and of course, what you actually got with your order. If you've come this far in the video, then you already know what to do. Give it a like, hit that subscribe button, rock that notification bell. It lets me know that I should keep making these videos, that you dads find them informative, and I should keep on keeping on. As usual, thanks for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back. All right, I gotta clean up this mess. Look at the mess that I made.
I am dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I post tips and tricks to save you dads time, energy, and money. Three things that are in short supply for every dad out there.